And what prompted me to do this is uh, old Nelly, my Kubota tractor, was burning off one of the wires all the time. And when I come find out the ground strap, the ground wire, this is when there's red, it's supposed to be black for ground, but uh, the ground wire going to the uh, to the tractor's uh, chassis was uh, wasn't contacting and uh, it was taking an alternate route and burning off the smaller wire. So anyway, I'm going to make up a make up a uh, new uh, ground strip. This one here is not all that good, but it'll it'll do the job, I guess. Anyway, clean it up now. Solder the solder wiring, so that should do it. It's pretty pretty good and shiny. There now. Yep. This is a uh, thirty thirty cartridge spent shell, and you can see the difference in the thickness of the uh, thirty thirty. Was made by uh, Winchester. This she all is, and uh, we all want to uh, make lugs for uh, electrical connectors. Anyway, just a little note. So I'm going to flatten that one out now. Yeah, that one's flattened. Just to make the end of it round. Okay, so we'll take it to the drill press. Three sixteenths, that one. You always make it a bit bigger if you want. Round off the edges, clean up. And out. I'm going to clean this uh, the inside of this lug. Got a homemade lug made out of, of shell, shell plank, spent shell. That should do it. Hopefully. Oh yeah, so I'm going to put the wire in there now and solder it in. Put a bit of uh, soldering paste on this now. Flux, whatever you want to call it. Put a little bit of solder on it. Get this one hot down here. Just put it in there and run some solder down around there. Now. 
let it cool. Pretty crude looking, but what happened is just scorched the uh, plastic coating on the on the uh, strap. Anyway, strap. This is supposed to be a ground strap. Should be black, and that's okay. I know that it's not black. Anyway, yep, it's pretty solid there now. Still a bit warm. So we got our ground strip made for, for the old Nelly. Be okay. It's still hot. Out. Now, if you want to finish it off, you can put some heat shrink on there. Actually, I haven't got any, but. Heat shrink, you should have put a heat shrink on first anyway, but I'm going to put a bit of a electrical tape over that just to make it look a bit better and give it a little bit of anyway, so there you go. I'll just put that on my tractor now and see can I get it to work, see can I get the tractor to go. And that's the problem anyway, there's no no main ground going to the battery. Oh. Okay, I need a small one, small ground too. And again, this is a wheat wire, I know it's not great, but I'll make it believe it's black. So I need a little bit of a paste on it, just warm it up a bit. A little bit of paste down in, down in the hole. Maybe we'll put a bit of solder down there first, I guess. Along with some paste. And we'll put a big wire in there. Okay, some solder. A little bit of solder down there now. I'm going to get on the wire. Okay, you got it. Solder's in there, so that should be good. Perfect. Now we can put a little bit of uh, of heat shrink in that one too to make it look a bit better. Okay, I put a piece of uh, um, shrink uh, tube on it just to finish it off. So that's going to be ground number two and. I'll just paint that black anyway, so out. So there they are. A few lugs. This is the one from a tractor, and that one there is from a tractor. Just got to re rebore that all to 5 sixteenths. Out. All used spent bullet shells. Out. Yeah, and I have my lugs on. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> done. The lugs are on and tape. We have taped up. So. Hey, Jerry's one. Anyway. Sorry, right, I'll see. Thank you. 